Good morning, everybody. I'd like to talk about what Thanksgiving was like for me growing up as a child. Thanksgiving was a wonderful time with our family. Um, I was raised with my grandmother. She had five sons and one daughter, and she raised me so it would be myself as well. On Thanksgiving Day and most holidays, her children would always come home for the holidays, which was nice. My father lived just down the road so he could visit when he wanted, which was nice. So for Thanksgiving, when I was young, the day before Thanksgiving, my grandmother would make her pies. She would make anywhere from 15 to 18 pies, which is a lot of pies and some would be double the same but just doubled and that night my grandmother and my grandfather would make the stuffing and how they would make their stuffing is they would take an old-fashioned grinder the grinder that would sit on the counter and you had to tighten it up and you cranked it and what they used is something called common crackers, which is hard to find today. They use common crackers, they use onions, and potato, and hamburg, and onions, and they put sage in it as well. And then once that was all grind up, they would put it inside the turkey. Well, some folks today believe, well, you should stuff the turkey some say you shouldn't but <coughs> excuse me but back in my day we stuffed the turkey <coughs> sorry still got the cough and um also they cooked pork roast and you gotta figure five sons one daughter most all had a family and some had a family of five or six so that was large and they ranged from Brewer, Maine, which is up north, to down on the coast. So the families were between here and there and in between. And you never knew if it was going to snow, rain, or what it was. But my grandparents always waited for them to come. So on Thanksgiving morning, my grandmother and grandfather would get up extremely early and they would put the turkey in the oven to start cooking. There was one thing I could do to help out and that would be to set the table. They would let me set the table. And in on the table, they used to have a tumbler, um, which we called back then. Today they call it a glass. And we used to fill that with celery and that was my grandmother's centerpiece. And they made a beautiful centerpiece. And, pe and she broke it apart, and when people wanted some celery, they just took it out of the tumbler. And it was always a fun day. We always had a great time. If it was raining or the weather wasn't good, all the kids used to play games and puzzles and colored. My grandmother had great big tins full of crayons and, and um, little plastic Indians and cowboys and horses and just all sorts of things for the kids to play with. And if it was nice and snowy, we used to go sledding for the afternoon, and that was a whole lot of fun. They would spend, my aunt and uncle would spend the whole day with their family, all day long. And they would also, some, some would even stay and have supper and have leftovers. So those were the good old days, and how time has changed in so many ways. Some folks wanna just skip right over Thanksgiving and go right into Christmas. And they never stop and think of all the things we should be grateful and thankful for. And another tradition we used to have at our table for Thanksgiving was we'd go around the table and we'd say, um, and how was your day and what are you thankful for? And even today, when I have gatherings at my home, we still do that. I'm hoping to continue that tradition and pass it on to my children and grandkids. And sometimes they do it, but I hope they will stick to it. 
another thing I just wanted to add to this was back then, many, many, many years ago, my grandmother, she never had a dishwasher. So all the dishes were done by hand. And my grandfather used to be very adamant about nobody helped my grandmother pick up and nobody helped my grandmother do dishes. That's just the way it was. So she worked long, hard hours doing dishes and cleaning and preparations. I don't know how this lady did it. She was barely five feet tall and she probably only weighed 115 pounds, but she was a spitfire. So I want to tell you a little bit about my Thanksgiving and I hope you enjoyed this story. And you never know what's gonna be on my videos. Have a happy Thanksgiving and God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.